Hey guys, what's going on? Hey, in my last video, I did a video uh, talking about how much I made in 2019. And uh, from that video and in previous videos, I've had questions asking how much certain expenses added up to and averaged and so on and so forth. So uh, in this video, I'm going to break down each expense I use as far as the averages and so on and so forth. Now, if you didn't see the last video, don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link it up here. I believe I pointed the right way. If not, it's going to be on the opposite corner. And that video is going to be the video that I just mentioned. The expenses I covered in that, in that video and the expenses I'm covering in this is what I'm calling true operating costs. Uh, you know, you just may want to list them as just operating costs. I say true operating costs because uh, you have tax deductions. You know, you have tax write-offs, which is just enormous. And, again, everybody knows that taxes can be finagled to work in your benefit. People try to write off everything they can uh, to, you know, not have to pay so much in taxes. Unless you're really trying to grow your business and you're looking to grow business credit and uh, use the business as collateral or any kind of uh, equity towards anything, then you're wanting to, obviously, you're trying to listed as profitable as possible so uh, in this the true operating cost is what I feel personally is a better gauge of what you're doing out here as far as whether it's worth it or whether you're making money or losing money uh, if anybody disagrees once this is all said and done and um, disagrees with the expenses I'm using and the way I'm using them and uh, the way I'm doing this uh, please comment below um, I'm open to hearing your side of it or if you have uh, if you feel there's expenses that I've missed that I'm not using that I possibly should be using, you know, as well, comment it below. Uh, these are the ones I feel are directly related. And just a just a quick a quick tidbit about that. These are these are expenses that I feel by doing this job itself I can't avoid. And I kind of touched on it before that. You could even take a percentage of some of these expenses off if you really wanted to because some of these costs do are being incurred whether you work a 40 hour a week job or not and that's why I'm trying to pick the expenses that are directly related to having this career this profession as opposed to working a 40 hour a week job because working a 40 hour a week job nobody's taking their check when they get home and they're saying oh well I got to deduct gas car insurance blase skippy this and that and this is actually how much i make it work no they get their check and then they're just living expenses come out of their check so this is your expenses coming out of directly what you're doing as work to see if the work is worthwhile so hopefully i explain that how it how it all figures out in my head so if not sorry i confused you i'm going to list the expenses that i used in that last video and what I go by on my spreadsheet on my personal spreadsheet that I created I use van payment insurance tolls hotels repairs gas and then just any miscellaneous expenses that come up that I don't have uh, individualized uh, put into miscellaneous expenses out of those expenses you have uh, what are called fixed costs and that's going to be your insurance and your van payment for me personally, uh, those are costs that are going to be the same every month, no matter what, uh, unless you just cancel insurance, obviously, or give your van back. But those are costs that are going to be there and be the same every single month. The rest of them are going to be what's called variable costs, and that's going to be because they fluctuate depending on you know how things go, breakdowns, how many miles you put in, so on and so forth. Okay, so the first one, my van payment. Uh, for the year, it cost me $9,234. That breaks down to $769.50 per month. Next is my insurance cost. Now, my insurance is through my carrier. And I know people are going to have questions about insurance. They always do. Insurance, if you sign with certain carriers, you'll pay your insurance through them. Sometimes it's extremely cheap to do it through a carrier sometimes it's the same as if you had it on your own but the carrier requires you to carry it through them just to be sure that you have the correct coverage uh, other places smaller uh, carriers and whatnot or if you're doing independent you got to have your insurance on your own but my insurance is through my carrier and it's covering my liability and my cargo my insurance costs 
for the year is six thousand seven hundred and sixty three dollars and nineteen cents which averages out to five hundred and sixty three dollars and sixty cents per month now those are my two fixed costs next get into uh, the variable costs and the first one being tolls uh, my total toll cost was nine hundred and twenty eight dollars and forty eight cents for an average of seventy seven dollars and thirty seven cents uh, next is hotels that comes up to two hundred fifty six dollars and sixty five cents for an average of twenty one dollars and thirty eight cents per month rarely stayed in a hotel uh, since I've gotten my van set up to where I have heat and I got the air conditioner, generator, uh, everything pretty much good to go. I don't hardly ever stay in a hotel anymore. So uh, hotel costs are extremely low. And no, our carrier does not always pay for hotels. There is the rare occasion that if a load takes up our entire space and you know we're going to be stuck somewhere with it for several days, uh, they do try and bid it to the point that they can give us some money towards a hotel. But that's extremely rare. So... I've been asked that question before as well. Repairs. Uh, repairs for the year was $2,157.36 for an average of $179.78. That is oil changes, any kind of preventive maintenance, any kind of breakdowns, that is tires, that is everything. Everything related to keeping this van running is under repairs and maintenance. Now for the grand finale. One of your largest costs, well, which is your largest cost, if it's not, and something else is, you're doing something wrong, but gas. Uh, my gas for the year was $19,059.18 for an average of $1,588.26 per month. That is, uh, I believe, uh, breaking that down, I'm going to look at it real quick. In the last video, I broke down the percentage of my expenses, uh, which... I have in front of me my fuel cost my gas expense was 49% of my expense uh, the van payment was 24% tolls was 2% repairs and maintenance was 6% insurance was 17% and uh, miscellaneous expenses and hotels were minuscule they were very minimum so uh, I'll put the I'll put what I'm looking at uh, off of my spreadsheet on here again. I did it in the last video. put it in this one as well. But hopefully this information helped you guys out. If there's something I left out, uh, comment below. Ask me. I'll try to get the information to you. I just try to do these videos to help you guys out, man. Help you guys uh, that are either looking to get into it or just new to it. Or even people that's been out here a while and just trying to uh, tighten up the ship that they run. So... This is just to kind of give people a foundation of numbers as far as what mine are. Can try to compare them to what yours are. Uh, as I said, I'm just putting out every bit of number that I can give you guys to compare and, and give you an idea of what's going on. As I said, I feel I do pretty decent, so I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Obviously, there's always things that I can do a little better, like get the van paid off. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to get off of here, and I will holler at you guys later.